So I'm going to do a quick little video here on the new permissions settings for linked views of databases. So for example, uh, I've got a database here. Then this is my source database, and I'm actually going to turn the title on here. So this is my source solves database. Um, and we'll check the permissions on this database here. Here's the actual database. These are set to contributors can edit. Uh, admin has full access and the team can edit. Those are my groups and everyone else in Notion Mastery Workspace can comment. So now if I were to create my own page here and let's bring in that database. Okay, so if we look at this sidebar here, there is a new view of solves that was created. And the interesting thing is that if I go into that view of solves and I check out the share thing here, you'll note that it does not have the same sharing permissions as the original solves database. So if I were to say, make this solves test share, uh, everyone can comment on this. Um, I would have to go back into that view itself and set the same sharing permissions that I have on my actual database. So if we go back to the solves database here again, I would have to reapply that contributors can edit that view, admin has full access, and team can edit as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to manipulate the data in the solves database uh, with those same permissions and you will end up with uh, some errors actually. The new button will still show up even though you can't add new documents and when you click the solve uh, template an error will show up uh, and I think that's kind of uh, I, the the way that this works makes sense to me but I think that there's some cleanup work that Notion needs to do still to make sure that the you know the controls that actually allow you to add new content are hidden when you can't actually access it. Otherwise, it appears that you should be able to add content, but you actually can't. So just to know that uh, views are completely separate from database when it comes to the access, even though you can see the data here. Uh, and this can be a bit of a gotcha because we're able to now share different databases in the same linked database views. And what that means is that if you need to have different permissions in different databases, you might not want to combine those databases into the same view because there's only one permission that can be assigned to a view. You cannot assign different permissions to these different tabs. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a gotcha that I discovered today with this new database system. I'm not sure if anyone else has discovered this yet. It seems pretty limited, uh, but it does pave the way for some interesting uh, permissions with uh, the new view system, which I'm pretty excited about. Hope that helps.